Hey you guys. So I know it's been so long since I last posted a video. I feel like every time I make a video, I end up saying that. But it has definitely been about a month, three weeks. How many weeks are in a month? Three, four, four? I don't know. But it's definitely been a long time since I last recorded a video. However, as you see, I am not rocking my natural hair right now. However, I did want to still make this video because I wanted to share my experience when I use henna. So, um, I always want to use henna and I was thinking about buying it from, oh, I got something in my face. <laughs> so anyway, so, um, I've always wanted to do henna, um, henna. However, every time I looked for it or I found it in the store, like, I looked at Lush, it was really expensive and I wasn't really feeling that. So one day I actually went to a, um, I think it was an Indian store and I found a box of henna. I was actually super excited. It was probably $1.99 or $2.99. I would have it somewhere in the clip and I got two boxes of it because I didn't know how much I would actually need for my hair personally. The first thing I did was instead of using regular water, I, attend, I decided to use black tea. Um, some of you guys probably heard of using the black tea rinse. I have done it maybe once or twice and I love the result. So I asked the, um, the lady that worked at the store, is that okay? She was like, that's normal. So I decided to boil, I believe, like two bags of black tea and I just boiled a whole pot of it. So the things that I ended up using was rose water. Um, I also used some almond oil. I used some extra virgin olive oil, which I love, and a little bit of apple cider vinegar. I also added coconut oil. Um, I use coconut milk, which I only use probably half the can. I use rose hip seed oil, a little bit of lavender, Jehovah oil. So I decided to start off by using a plastic spoon because I didn't want my actual spoon to be dyed. Like again, I've never used henna, so I was a little scared and I didn't want to get cussed out by my mama for dyeing her stuff. Just saying. Plus, also with the chemicals, I didn't want there to be a chemical reaction with the metal and the henna and things just went completely wrong. Like, this is my hair I'm putting this on. So I wanted to use all plastic um, utensils or plastic containers. Yeah, so, so pretty much I started off by just taking a little bit of tea because I didn't know how much I was gonna need. So I just started off with a very little bit, um, a small amount and I just mixed it up. After that, I decided to add all the other ingredients because I didn't want it to be too runny and I haven't added anything in there yet. So as you see, I'm going to be starting to add all my different products within the um, mixture. And one thing for sure is that this is like a clay substance once it becomes wet. It is a little hard to mix at first and you're supposed to make sure that it's smooth. So I wanted to go ahead and add all my different oils to it and everything of that sort. And then after I got done, I realized that it was not blending well enough. So I used a, what is it called, a whisk, and I just whisk it really good. It's supposed to be in the texture of like a cake batter, but I believe mine was a little bit runnier than that. It all depends, it's your preference. Um, you, so after I was done mixing everything together, I decided to use a piece of saran wrap paper to go on top because I wanted, I had like OCD, I really wanted to see like what was going on in the bowl. So even though the bowl was clear, but I wanted to put the saran wrap on there. And one thing I can tell you for sure is that it definitely, some kind of chemical, whatever was happening, I was able to see like the water being formed at the top and I guess it got hot and heat developed when it started to set. And I let the henna sit for about, I believe about six hours. You should let your henna sit between four to 24 hours. And you can refrigerate this if you put like yogurt or something in your henna. Make sure you refrigerate and you can use it within like a couple weeks. You can use it within a couple days. However, I was so eager to do it so I decided to just go ahead and do it that night. It was probably around 1 o'clock a.m. when I decided to do it. One thing I want to tell you for sure is to make sure that you put something down on the ground. Henna is super, super messy. Um, take off all your jewelry, put on a really bad shirt. And um, one thing I'm also going to say is to dye, not dye, to oil your perimeter of your hair. Girls, if you guys had relaxers, you know what I mean. You want to make sure you grease that all good. Because henna stains. It stains everything that it touches. Your skin, your counter, your sink, your towels, everything it touches is going to stain. So, um, yeah. Make sure you put something down. I would just put like an old towel down on the floor. 
and you want to buy some gloves. These gloves I bought from Sally's. They are reusable and they were like $1.99. It smells horrific. That stuff smells so bad. I don't even know. I don't even know how to explain the smell. It just smells like sewer or like, I don't know, but it smells so bad. And I was like gagging. So I tried to do it as fast as I could. It was even to the point that I wanted to part my hair, which I recommend you do. Again, this is my first time, but I recommend you do section your hair out into like, if you have a lot of hair like I do, um, at least six sections. If you have really long hair, maybe more. Um, and some girls you could probably get away with just four or two sections. However, I really just want to get the process over with because it smelled really bad. And my bathroom is so small, there's no ventilation at all. So I just grab like a piece from the front and I just start adding it to my hair little by little. Once I got it on there, it did detangle very easily. And I was like, whoa, this is gonna be, this is, this is gonna turn out really, really good. Um, like I said before, henna is extremely messy. I dropped so much on my floor. I got so much on my face and it was just disgusting. Um, so after you get done putting or applying the henna to one section, I decided to go ahead and twist it up and get it out the way. That was a very long process. I pretty much just molded my hair um, into a big ball because it was so heavy um, trying to get it inside of a cap. So I just had to mold it first and then I sat a cap on top and I believe I waited for about an hour between washing it out. Yeah. So I don't know what it could have been or what it could have been that made my hair feel so brittle. I moisturized my hair, um, I styled my hair. I believe that day I ended up doing a twist out right after I did the henna and it was so dry. I don't know if any of you guys ever experienced that before, but I don't want to blame it solely on the henna since so many people have had so many great experiences with it. Um, I don't know if maybe my hair is protein sensitive, but I'm definitely going to at least give it another chance because this was my first uh, chance. My first time trying it, I now know, you know, what to do. I've done my mistakes and stuff like that with using the henna. And I'm going to try it again, maybe with a different recipe and see how that works. I'm going to probably wait a good two months once I take this weave out or whatever um, and giving it another chance. And hopefully then I will have better results. And I will definitely be recording that and showing you guys that process. So that is all, um, again overall I did like the henna, the process of using the henna was a tad bit much for your girl, let me tell you, I am, no I don't have the patience for that. Um, but yes, that is all, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to thumbs up, share, and subscribe. So until next time, bye.